What is going on guys, Castell right here, and in today's video we are going to be talking about this brand new announcement from Tamron. Actually, let me change the uh, title of this video. We're going to be talking about a breakthrough of photography because Tamron has introduced a lens like no other. 35 millimeters to 150 f2 to f2.8 and you've heard that right this lens is going to have an aperture f2 and it's going to cap at f2.8 and that's going to happen at 150 millimeters so in this video we're going to tell you about some of the features of this lens also we're going to discuss some of the press release notes and also let's actually brainstorm about the price of this lens because that wasn't announced so if you're interested in this one lens that most likely is going to be a do-it-all for a lot of you guys out there including myself Stick around. And welcome back to the channel. Get started right here, guys. And if this is your first time in my channel, welcome to this place. I do gear reviews, tutorials behind the scene. I've been covering a lot of rumors. So if you like this type of content, you know what to do. So let's get back to the news because Tamber announced the development of an incredible lens, the new 35 to 150 millimeters F4 to F2.8. And oh boy, I've been waiting for this lens. I don't know, probably since I started photography. And now that I'm doing more video, a lens like this is much needed now one of the great things about this lens is number one of course the variety of focal you know range that you get from 35 going from the wide angle you know the telephoto even super telephoto at 150 but the best part is that this lens is going to do it with a super fast aperture and like i mentioned before this is probably the only lens that can actually do all the things that i just mentioned in one package now the great thing about this lens is that this lens is going to be compact this lens most likely is not going to be as heavy as other options out there if you want to you know get something like this let alone actually pack different lenses but also you know we think that this lens is going to be priced modestly like tamra has been pricing all the lenses now this release is going to launch up first for the sony Eman system so for those sony shooters you know we're going to be like in heaven very very soon because it is said that this lens is going to be announced in 2021 now exactly when the lens is going to be announced that's still to be determined but it's going to happen this year now the other great news is that this lens is going to have a whole new design because Tamron is actually focusing in ergonomics and one of the things that we're going to see different in this lens from the prior version is the focusing system that this lens is going to have which is the VXD which is stand for Voice Gold Extreme Torque Drive, linear focus motor for swift out of focus speed. Have that. Now, it means that this lens is going to be super fast at focusing, but also is going to be pretty quiet. Now, let's actually take a look at this photo once again. So, we're still talking about a lens that is going to be uh, very pocketable, very manageable, a lens that is going to give you pretty much everything that you need in one package. And I feel like crying because I am so, so pumped about this lens. But again, guys, you know, Tamron has been pretty much redefining you know lens design for a while now with their releases and this is actually a great news now the great news don't end right there because Tamron announced in their press release that the uh, Tamron utility app is going to allow you to configure even further the experience with this lens one of the things that you're going to be able to do is configure the uh, the button on the lens to be uh, focus A and focus B meaning that you're going to be able to toggle from two distance that you're going to set within the app and jump straight to those different you know focusing distance by tapping on the button you could also configure a custom button from your Sony camera to actually allow you to jump from the two distances also the app is going to allow you to change how the uh, focusing room behave number one you can actually change the direction of rotation number two you're going to be able to configure the response of the lens to be linear or non-linear and you can also turn the focusing ring into an after ring control so this is going to be you know amazing a great lens i'm super excited for this lens and I'm sure a lot of people are going to be jumping in pre-orders when this lens announces. And the $1 million question is, how much is this lens going to be? And at the moment of this video, you know, Tamra has now released that information. But, you know, based on the other lenses out there that Tamra has released, and, you know, they usually don't like to be expensive. You know, they're usually very affordable. So I'm assuming that this lens is going to be at around top dollars, $1,700. And when you're talking about Tamra lenses, this is actually a pretty expensive price to pay for a Tamra lens. But when you think that this lens may replace a lot of the other Tamra lenses, including the lens that they actually announced in this press release, the 28 to 75 millimeters, 
I think is a fair deal. Now, there's one thing that this lens is not going to have, and that is image stabilization, because could you imagine? Yeah, it's a little bit of a bummer, but 35 to 150, f2 to 2.8, and also image stabilization. This could have been probably for a lot of people the one lens to get and probably put that 70 or 200 to sleep. But definitely, this lens is not going to replace those super teleport zoom lenses with the three modes of image stabilization. Again, Tamron is bringing great technology once again, and again, redefining lens design with this amazing lens. And for those that are looking for one lens that does it all for most situations, and the lens that is actually easy to travel most likely this one is going to be the one that a lot of people are going to be picking up now i'm assuming that uh once this lens launches for the sony system tamra is going to launch a version for the rf system probably for nikon and who knows now why is this lens so important for hybrid shooters you know those that do photography and video almost equally and those that actually travel because traveling has been one of my main hurdles you know packing gear and after an accident that I have, if it doesn't fit in my backpack, I don't bring it. So this lens may be for a lot of the jobs, for a lot of people as well. The one lens to get, obviously it's not gonna cover all the situations, but before this lens, I actually have to bring a lot of lenses because I like my lenses to be fast. So I will bring maybe um, the 14 millimeter F1.8, I will bring a 55 millimeter F1.8 size, or now the 50 millimeter F1.2 from Sony. I like to have an 85 for my portrait photography, 135, so I'll bring one of those and then i like to bring a super telephoto lens like the 70 or 200 uh, from sony but now i can see myself reducing my setup to only one lens or maybe two lenses at the most i could actually still shoot fast at f2 in the wider range of the lens and then you know it goes up from there now, one thing that we don't know is how fast the aperture of f2 is going to change to the f2.8. And even if it is f2 only at 35 millimeters and then changes, you still at f2.8 all the way to 150. So incredible. And by the way, are you going to be picking up this lens and how much would you pay for this lens? Let me know in the comments down below. And until then, guys, I will see you in the next video.